So now let's talk about the sharing features. Now, if I had my students do a project here in Google Earth Projects, they could simply put it into present mode. And once they did that, you'll notice that the URL changes and they could copy and paste and turn that into me through email or my learning management system, Google Classroom, Schoology, whatever you use. So that would take me as a teacher right into this project and look at it like a presentation. If I wanted my students to work on this collaboratively, we have the little share button that looks very familiar. Looks like we'd see in all the other Google products. Right now it belongs to just me. I've restricted access only to me. So if I wanted to change that to anyone with a link or anyone in my district, I could also change the access. So if I wanted them to be editors and I had a classroom full of people to add to, um, I could do that or I could just add people by name and give them rights to be viewer, editor, or even add an expiration date. Now this might be an interesting concept for your students at the beginning of the year. Let's do a Google Earth project. Where did you go on your summer vacation? Pick one location and then you could give all your students the rights to be editors, add the um, link to somewhere that they had access to and they could all then jump in and add their location and it could be that collaborative project.